Welcome to View from the Garage. Today we saw the unveiling of the 2021 Ford F-150. It's a very important model in Ford's lineup and in the industry. But did they go far enough? Is this truck new enough? Is it nice enough? Does it offer features that make it stand out from the rest? We'll discuss that and more coming up. So Ford just introduced a brand new 2021 F-150. And I say it's the most important vehicle launch for them in the foreseeable future. Why is that? Well, uh, number one, it's their best-selling vehicle. And it has been best-selling pickup line in the last 43 years. But why is it so important to Ford, their bottom line, and all the launches that are coming up in the next several years? Well, it's because... Of the profitability of the f-series trucks it is truly their most profitable vehicle that they sell it is their cash cow and you have to ask did they go far enough is the truck new enough will it be able to continue to be a sales leader in the marketplace it's not enough just to be nice anymore just ask chevrolet and gmc they introduced new light duty pickups for the 20 19 model year and last year fca with their recent launch of their 1500 series trucks overtook chevrolet as the number two selling light duty pickup truck and that's largely because of the fact that fca uh, with the ram truck they they just they, they went further they made the interior nicer more luxurious they gave the buyer uh, features that they didn't even know that they wanted. A huge touchscreen in the middle of the dashboard. Uh, luxury features that you would expect to see in a redesigned Chrysler 300 or a Jeep Grand Cherokee, but instead you're seeing them inside of a truck, which you know used to be just for work. But clearly, the popularity of trucks being what it is, people are using them for more than just work. It's a family vehicle, it's a work vehicle, it's a jack of all trades. So, did Ford go far enough with their redesign? Well, let's talk about what some of the features are that they've added. We'll talk about some of the designs that they've changed. And uh, we'll decide, did they go far enough or are they bound to lose market share? So, Ford unveiled their new F-150. And, of course, they had the you know media event, a pre-recorded um, launch event with... Uh, um, executives and um, product planners and marketing uh, people and you know uh, they did a good job of showing off some of the features of the truck they didn't go into a lot of the detail and some of the specifics that a lot of truck users might want to know how much does it tow how much does it haul uh, how much horsepower does it have but what they did say was that it will be the most capable class leading truck in regards to hauling, towing, horsepower, and torque. Now that's pretty big claim uh, to make in all regards, but uh, you know they're um, backing it up with uh, uh, six different powertrains at this point and um, a slew of new features that they claim will make this um, truck help the users be more productive. So how'd they do it? Well, Let's start with uh, some of the features they've added. So technology-wise, they've, they've added quite a lot when it comes to uh, electronics and infotainment and safety and, uh, you know, some um, flashy features. So they've got um, a base 8-inch touchscreen dash in the uh, lower model trucks and midline and up uh, there's an optional 12 inch it's not as big as uh, what the ram offers but it's certainly bigger than uh, what they have in the current truck and uh, looks like it's a very high definition screen and they back that up with uh, an optional 12 inch display in the gauge cluster which is also uh, high definition and looks quite useful some of the other features that they've added to make the truck more uh, useful productive uh, is uh, it's got a fold away shifter, gear shifter, so that a slide out tray 
can accommodate a notebook or a clipboard or a small laptop computer. So making the truck a uh, job site office, as it, as it were. Uh, also, to take that one step further, it has a 4G LTE hotspot available so that you can run your laptop computer or uh, Wi-Fi for your cell phone or your tablet, and it will support up to 10 devices. So another handy feature. As well, um, they're saying that uh, Sync 4, a new generation of Ford's infotainment system, will be standard on these trucks, and um, it also will offer a lot of new features that uh, hadn't previously been incorporated. Um, another thing that they're offering in regards to uh, electronics is um, over-the-air software updates and feature updates, and they're also promising to uh, have available, not at launch, but uh, down the road, on some models, a uh, driver assist feature, active driver assist feature, where if you're on a divided highway, you can actually have hands-free driving. Again, they say that's an industry first for uh, for trucks. Uh, something else they're talking about doing is uh, offering some of the trailer assist camera features that are offered currently on the Super Duty. So they're going to be incorporating those into some of the existing um, backup and hookup options that Ford offers on the light duty so now they're going to be expanding that to, and making it much easier to not only hook up the trailer and uh, connect to it but also to uh, see what's going on as you uh, drive down the road. Some of the other features that they offer on this truck that help them uh, set it apart from the competition is um, uh, under the back seat they're going to offer a full width lockable secure secret or hideaway uh, storage box um, so valuables can be stored um, sporting equipment um, possibly even uh, guns where that's uh, you know allowed and uh, that's something that uh, on many current trucks you'd have to go to the aftermarket to try and get uh, support for that sort of storage um, quite a thoughtful touch they're also uh, offering a almost a sleeper seat uh, max recline feature in some models of uh, the front bucket seats so that they go almost completely flat almost 180 degrees uh, so that uh, someone could um, curl up and have a nap whether it be at a campsite or a job site or you know what have you um, again just trying to find ways to differentiate themselves from other trucks on the market another way they do that is they're offering um, an onboard electronics system that will allow uh, zone lighting around the box, the sides, the back, uh, can be controlled from the touch screen inside the cab of the truck, but can also be controlled by the cell phone app that Ford offers for uh, other features as well, so that you can illuminate certain areas and uh, not others, depending on uh, the desired purpose. Something else that they've uh, looked at and uh, redesigned uh, to make it more user-friendly is the tailgate. And I think they've done a great job at that. They've taken something that's been around for a lot of years and they've put a lot of thought into it and said, how can we make this more useful? And uh, I think they've done a great job. They've put a flat surface onto it. They've also put uh, uh, in the surface um, gradients for, for uh, measuring, like a ruler, so that you can uh, put a board across it, mark it, cut it. Uh, I do that in my driveway all the time. Uh, it would be certainly much handier on this tailgate. And uh, making it even better, they put indentations into the edge of the tailgate so you can actually clamp the board to the tailgate and make it easier to hold it while you cut it. And they've also added cleats on the sides of the tailgate when it's dropped. So that if you're carrying a longer load that requires that tailgate to be open, you can now secure it right to the tailgate with a, with a ratchet strap or a bungee cord. That's very smart thinking. Also, at the back corner of the box, uh, just inside the tailgate, they've got an electronics uh, area where you can plug in to electrical outlets, power tools, um, charge up phones, um, plug in a light, maybe plug in something for a tailgate party, um, radio or, you know, what have you, an electric grill. Uh, depending on the model, the output will vary. Uh, they've also alluded to the fact that uh, that optional feature on uh, different models will have 
different power outputs and there's uh, one model coming that will have a hybrid powertrain and uh, on that model it's optional to to have uh, much more power uh, it's, you can run power tools charge them while you're driving uh, so very thoughtful features uh, in regards to those powertrains, uh, not a lot of details other than uh, at this point we know the base engine is probably going to be the 3.3 liter V6, similar horsepower to what uh, is currently in the 2020 model. 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost uh, obviously is going to carry over to a certain extent. It might have uh, slightly different power output. Uh, the 5 liter Coyote as well will carry over. We don't know what the power output will be on that either. And there will be a, a diesel similar to uh, what was in the 2020 model. Now that leaves the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. 2020, there were two versions of that engine. And uh, I suspect that you'll only see one in the 2021. Not sure what the horsepower rating will be on that. And that leaves us with the final powertrain configuration. And that is the full hybrid model, which Ford is claiming will have a range of 700 miles on one tank of gas between uh, the electric motor and the gasoline engine. And uh, they're certainly putting a lot of uh, effort into engineering that model. Um, it's not the first pickup that's ever been designed to be a hybrid, but it certainly sounds like it is the most capable. And um, they've also alluded to the fact that uh, in two years time there will be a fully electric F-150. So we're looking forward to that, and um, certainly um, they're not going to be the only electric pickup on the market. And in two years' time, there's others uh, racing to beat them. Um, most notably, General Motors with the Hummer model, uh, Rivian with their full electric, and uh, of course Tesla. And there are a couple others that are um, in the works um, that are at varying stages of engineering completion and. Uh, preparing for manufacturing. So we'll see what happens when that fully electric pickup comes to market. Now in regards to styling, um, from 50 feet away to the casual observer, uh, they might say it's just a mild refresh on the styling compared to the 2020 model. That might not be fair because Ford does say that every body panel is new for the 2021. And they've also said there's going to be 11 different grills and 13 different variants of wheels. So that tells me they put an awful lot of thought and design effort into this. Um, but again, it, it looks very derivative, um, very conservative redesign compared to the 2020 model year. To most people, that's not a bad thing because it's the best selling vehicle Ford sells and it's the best selling truck. But you have to stop and think, what are the other competitors going to do before this truck comes around for another redesign in possibly five years? Is this going to be enough to stay fresh and competitive at that time? Time will tell. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I think it's a nice looking truck. Uh, I think it's very thoughtfully redesigned, um, added detail, added style, um, maybe wasn't there in the past or is just more distinct now. But is that enough? I don't know. That's, uh, that's going to be the, the question. We know it's a best-selling truck. We know that it's very popular. We know it's got loyal buyers. But we also know that the pickup truck market has become very hot, very competitive. And over the past five years, um, the offerings from any of the major manufacturers have gotten so good that you just can't afford to not throw everything you've got at it. And in this case, I like the truck. I think it's great. I think it'll sell really well in the first couple of years. But I am a little concerned that unless they come at it with a, a pretty sizable mid-cycle enhancement in three years from now, that it it may start to um, just be too familiar uh, out on the road um, for many buyers. They want to see the latest, the greatest, the freshest. And in three years from now, I'm not so sure that's going to be the Ford. But that's just my take. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. 
And by all means, uh, check out the video of the, uh, of the launch and uh, check out the pictures and the other websites that show some of the features on the truck and let me know what you think. I'd be uh, curious to think whether you uh, think it's a uh, love it or a hate it design. Again, this is View from the Garage and this is my take on the 2021 F-150. Um, please like, share, subscribe. We'll be having further reviews on new launches, on new vehicles, used vehicles, and on classic vehicles. So come on back and check us out. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.